Hello friends, I'm Gary Bowers and the poem I'm going to read, which I wrote yesterday, is entitled Sleep Depth and Dogs. There was this kid who liked to stay up all night and beyond. And whenever he drowsed, he would run cold water and splash his face, or walk around and slap himself. And in the pre-dawn, he would wander the neighborhood, feeling a lot like he owned it, passing some houses he knew contained anguish, some he knew contained friends. Almost everyone was sleeping, and those that weren't were silent, until he went down the street, where it was a sure bet that his mirror presence would incite a dog riot. Not cruelly, but because he was baffled, the kid paid especial attention to one brute who never ever cottoned to him, nor anyone but his owner, probably. And this exacerbated the cacophony. This infuriated the brute and the dark and his bark decibel level rose. So the dogs two blocks down who wanted action got the hint and the bark range then extended far and wide. Now, 40 years later, this former kid here and after referred to as you know who shakes his head at that youthful indiscretioner because he now cherishes sleep, never getting enough of it, wanting it to be deep and lovely dream laden. And bark interference is anathema to such. Karma? Payback? That's life? Thank you, friends.